everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite apps. I was trying to think of content that wasn't related to food or being a mom and I was like, hmm, apps. Although apps is technically a short form for appetizers. But they are apps for the phone. And so I wanted to share with you guys my top five apps. These are apps that I use on a regular basis and not even just a regular basis, like an hourly basis. And I always find these videos to be really, really fun. It's like, what apps do you use outside of like Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter. I guess YouTube. I do do a lot of YouTube. I hope you guys find this video helpful and without further ado, let's get into this. The first app I want to share with you guys is called Our Groceries and it's something that Chris and I downloaded probably two years ago um, because we were struggling going back and forth trying to get together like a list of groceries that we needed. For those of you that are new, I don't do grocery shopping because I hate it. And it was getting really frustrating when I'm just constantly texting Chris like, oh I forgot this, oh I forgot this, what about this, what about this? He's like, I can't keep track of it all. So in this particular app, I have a whole bunch of different lists. So I have a shopping list, to-do list, bring list for when we're going places, and it keeps record of all the different things that you've used in the past on that particular shopping list. So you can start typing like B-L-U-E, and it's like blueberries, kind of like Google. Like it, it tries to like know what you want to say before you say it. And the best part about this app is it connects and syncs across multiple phones. So if I update the list, Chris sees those updates and vice versa, which is awesome. So if you're a duo going out and getting groceries, this is a great way to stay on top of things. And then for like my to bring list, it has everything all pulled up already and it's ghosted and crossed off. So I just uncheck everything and then we know exactly what we need to bring or remember. So like it has like baby monitor, noise machine, stuffed animals, Julia's pillow, chargers. Like it has all those things that I would normally bring on any sort of outing with us if we're going places and staying overnight. And it's just a great thing to keep on top of things. And so Chris will knock off things off the list as he packs them or vice versa. And it just overall, I'm in love with this app. App number two is called Flipboard. And this is something that I in particular love when I'm just like chilling and like nursing Luke and have a little bit of downtime. And it's basically like a big flip chart of news articles of topics that you really enjoy. So when you sign up, you kind of tick off different boxes of things that you really like, and then it'll flip through and it'll start adding all of these different articles. And it's just a great way to keep on track of things that you really enjoy and what's updated and what's new and fresh and current. Um, and I really like it. it's just easy to use and you just flip through the different articles until you find something you like, you click on it and it takes you to the web website and you can just read the article. Number three is Google Spreadsheets. For those of you that have watched my videos in the past, you know I'm kind of obsessed with Excel. And so Google Spreadsheets is basically the same thing, but it is all updated on the internet. So Chris can see my spreadsheets and I can um, share them with various people and it's a great way for me to keep on top of like my content calendar. So I know what videos are going up when and which ones I still need to film and I can update it while I'm on the road or at my computer at home. And it's just an awesome way to keep on track of everything. So for me, I use the spreadsheets as a calendar, um, but you can use it for whatever you want. They also have docs as well. So I'll put out like any sort of um, video ideas that I have and things like that. I've talked about these in the past, but I love, love, love this particular app and I use it constantly. Number four is an app that's called Night Mode. And I recently got into this because my sister-in-law had mentioned something similar um, based on some research that she had done on the effects of having blue light kind of blinding you in the face in the middle of the night and it's really hard to fall back asleep. So because I was up all night with Luke, I wanted something that would allow me to go back to sleep fairly easily. And so what night mode does is it allows you to adjust the intensity of how bright your screen is as well as how red your screen is because red light is a little bit easier for you to fall asleep to than blue light. It also has a built-in timer, so you can set what time it turns on and turns off. So for me, mine turns on at 10 p.m. and it turns off at 7 a.m. So you can wake yourself up eventually. But I love this app. It is super customizable, easy, easy to use, and great for you night owls out there that really enjoy to just sit in bed and scroll through Instagram all night. And then lastly, app number five is Snapseed. Snapseed is a really good one if you enjoy editing photos for Instagram or otherwise. There are a bunch of reasons that I really, really love this app, but it's very, very easy to use. One is the tune image, so you can change a whole bunch of different things, whether it's brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, highlight, warmth, all that stuff, which is fairly standard across a lot of different apps. But the other thing that I really like is this one called Selective. So you can click on specific parts and it takes in that particular tone, that particular area, and you can make it smaller or larger depending on how big you want it to be. And you can adjust the brightness of that particular area 
or the con uh, the contrast or the saturation depending on what kind of a look you're going for. It just makes it a little bit easier if you don't want to brighten up an entire photo while overexposing one area. You just want to like make the background a little bit brighter or something like that. It makes it a little bit more customizable. So for that reason, I love this app. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite apps are. I would love to hear from you guys and let me know if you have any requests for future videos on this channel and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.